Freedom High School students and staff. I'm Samantha. And I'm Lucas. Here are your morning announcements for Tuesday, December 17th. So Lucas, what's the weather report for today? Well, it looks like rain and snow today with a high of 38 degrees. Freedom's Yoga Club would love for you to join them. All levels and abilities are welcome and no experience is necessary. The club meets Tuesdays from 2.30 to 3.30 in the Black Box Theater. See Ms. Costales with any questions. Attention all students. St. Luke's will be here on December 16th outside of lunches to provide you with information regarding the health van and the services they offer. Avita will be joining them as well to help spread the message. Please stop by. They're excited to see you. The newest Freedom Gear is here. Stop by room 224 for a catalog or shop online at fancloth.com under the LBPQZ campaign to get or give some items for Christmas. Name brand items that help your Freedom family travel. Hoodies, pullovers, long sleeve shirts, and joggers. Come out and join Freedom's ASL club. You do not need to know sign language to be a member. Get involved in the deaf community, spread deaf awareness, participate in fun games and crafts, and share your passion for American Sign Language. The ASL Club meets every Tuesday in room 133 after school. They hope to see you there. So, what's happening with sports? Boys basketball v Way versus Easton at Easton Middle School. JV plays at 530 and varsity plays at 7. The swim team will be home versus East Stroudsburg Senior High School North at 4. The rifle team will be home versus Emmaus at 4. Girls basketball will be home versus Easton. JV starts at 5.30 and varsity follows at 7. Girls varsity cheerleading will be at Easton at 7. Let's take a quick look at the fine and practical arts electives offered here at Freedom. What's your passion? Awesome. I really don't see a disadvantage at all of taking this class. It's going to teach you new skills that you didn't before you're going to hold a knife correctly, how to wash dishes correctly without a dishwasher, and things that all people should know, especially in high school, because after high school, you're pretty much in the real world. So, yeah. See? So he uses the machine to see inside. So today we're going to make an, a cat that's getting an x-ray. Okay? So can everyone first take the green paper and turn it over and write your name on it? Alright, get your green paper out. Here to make sure you work on your lower case letters. Turn yeah. it over. Write your name on the back. Okay, you want to side? You can move these to the side. Now write your name. Bless you. Now, Layla, you better write your name properly or I'm going to tell Rihanna. Because Rihanna knows you know how to write your name. Go. All right, so this is guitar class, guitar two specifically. So what we do is we learn like more deeper into guitar theory and music theory and like scales, notes, songs, all that stuff. And then I took the class because you know I already played guitar, so I just want to learn more and dive deeper into that. But you know. do like a, a birdhouse, you have to make a rack to hold tools. You have to um, make a little box, uh, cutting a cutting board to. It, it gets you used to all the uh, machines we have in here, and then we're allowed to kind of get some freedom. But the biggest thing that we stress here is that we're not just, just cut wood to cut wood. We also have to plan. We have to do it as if it's real life and uh, take into account all the factors so we make a um, good project the first time. Oh. All right, tell me what you guys are working on. Coil pieces. My and what class are we in? Ceramics one. Yeah. We're not getting very good. Very good. <laughs> Mia, why should somebody take ceramics? What do you like about it? It gives you a really good outlet, like to get out in your creativity. Hey guys. Um, in photography class, we work together as a team to accomplish our photographs. We create contact sheets to show Miss Tui our progression through our pictures uh, using the elements and principles of photography. This is the Freedom High School Patriot Choir. We combine with the Freedom High School Concert Choir to perform in the winter and spring concerts. 
We also do community gigs and we travel on trips. We also have the select group, Les Chanteurs and Corral, which you can audition for if you so desire. So you've seen a few of the many classes offered in the fine and practical arts. There is something here for everyone's passion. If you are interested in singing, playing an instrument, learning how music is made or recorded, check out these courses. We have band and orchestra for instrumentalists, two choirs for singers, music theory and AP music theory for those interested in how music is made and why it sounds the way it does. You can learn to play guitar and piano and learn to sing better. We also offer a history of music, jazz improv, and music appreciation for those who like to listen to music. A new course we offer is music production where you learn how to record and mix music. For those who like to draw or paint, we have Studio Art 1 and 2. If you like to work with clay, we have Ceramics 1 and 2. If you like to take pictures, we have Photo 1 and 2. For those making a career in art or photography, we have Portfolio Prep. If you like cooking, we have Foods and You, American Cookery and International Foods. If you like working with children, you might like to take Exploring Childhood, in which you actually get to work with preschool children from the community. Another parenting class we offer is Child Development and Parenting. If you like to make your own clothes or want to learn how to create a great home space, take Clothing Creation or Interior Design. Finally, if working with wood is your passion, take Woodcraft 1 or 2. Fine and Practical Arts has many elective offerings, something for everyone. What's your passion? Thanks for tuning in. I'm Samantha. And I'm Lucas. The Freedom Forum is a voice for the voiceless. Have, Have a, a timeless, timeless Tuesday. Tuesday.